What's up guys, in this video I will guide you on how to turn on developer mode on your MetaQuest 3S. This should also apply to your MetaQuest 3 as well and the process is quite simple. First things first, you want to go ahead and get your phone or your laptop, just any device that can access the internet. In my case, I'll be using my phone over here and then you want to head over to a browser on your phone. I'll be using the Google Chrome browser. Now, from the top search bar of your browser, you want to go ahead and type meta developer account sign up over here now you're going to see this official meta developer account creation page all you just have to do is to go ahead and select it from google and then you're going to see the login button at the right hand side you want to go ahead and click on login and then over here you're going to see the sign up link go ahead and click on sign up scroll down just like so then click on sign up over here now you can go ahead and sign in with your Facebook account or your Instagram account. On my MetaQuest 3S over here, during the setup process, I used my Instagram account. So I'll just go ahead and use my Instagram account as well. Keep in mind, you have to sign into the same account that is signed in on your MetaQuest 3S or your MetaQuest 3. You can go ahead and try signing up with your email address. So just click on email address, then proceed to enter your email over here. Now, once you're signed in, you will be asked to verify your account. So what you want to do next is to go ahead and verify your account, either using the two-factor authentication method or using your credit card. I'll go ahead and set up a two-factor authentication now. And this is basically the account I want to set my two-factor authentication. Select it. I'll go ahead and set up the Google authentication using the authentication app from Google. So click on continue over here. All you just have to do is to download the Google authentication app copy the key over here and then add it to the google authenticator app so i already have the google authenticator app and i have actually added my facebook developer key once you actually do this that is you insert your key you can actually come over here click on next go ahead and enter any device name then at the bottom click on the next button over here and then just go ahead and enter the code that you actually get from the google authenticator app so i'll just copy this one this is actually the latest one and then you just want to go ahead and insert it inside of this place click on next or continue and now my two-factor authentication is now turned on click on done and you're good to go so i have just successfully verified my meta developer account now what you want to do next is to go over to the meta developer account now this is basically my profile and what i'll just do is to go ahead and put this browser on desktop mode okay so now my browser is on desktop mode meanwhile if you do not know how i got here you can simply just refresh your browser or alternatively you can just come over to the top search bar go ahead and search for create metal developer account again from the top of the search bar of your browser immediately after verifying your account go ahead and click on this initial sign up page which is basically the page of our meta developer account and you should be taken to this page now what you want to do is to actually just come over to your profile icon at the top over here go ahead and click on it and then you're going to see the my apps option over here go ahead and select that and once this page loads we have actually completed the verification process what we want to do now is to actually create an organization you can go ahead and give your organization any name i will just enter the input field over here and enter any name for mine and then once you're done you want to click on the i understand check button over here and then you just want to go ahead and click on the submit button at the right hand side you also want to agree to this non-disclosure agreement so you can just click on the check button over here and then just proceed to click on the submit button and just like so the organization should have been created from your meta developer account now finally once your organization has been created you want to head over to the meta horizons app on your phone so make sure you actually sign into the meta horizons app with the same account that is also signed into your meta developer account as well click on the three dot icon over here and then you want to go ahead and click on devices Go ahead and select your meta quest 3s or your meta quest 3 as the case may be this is mine over here i'll select it and as you can see both devices are currently connected you want to make sure that both devices are connected and at this point you're going to see the headset settings over here go ahead and select that now you're going to see the developer options or developer mode from the headset settings of your meta quest 3s or your meta quest 3 i'll just go ahead and select it and then from here you can now turn on or enable developer mode for your meta quest 3s all you just have to do now is to go ahead and click on the ok button just like so in addition to this you might actually have to restart your meta quest 3s or your meta quest 3 before you can actually find the developer mode 
or developer mode settings from the advanced settings of your metal quest 3s now if you find this video useful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one